What's up guys, Ben here, Enus Tech. Today we're going to take a quick look at the CM Storm Trigger software that comes with their mechanical keyboard. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with me mechanical keyboards and macros, uh, there's nothing too out of the ordinary here, I wouldn't imagine. This is my first time using a mechanical keyboard and the software, but it seems pretty straightforward and generic. For those of you that do not know what this is for, this will let you set up a bunch of different macros and change your keys to do different things. It also allows you to set up different profiles for your keyboard depending on what you are doing. You could set a profile, let's say profile 1 could be your generic Windows profile for just uh, word processing and searching the internet. Profile 2 could be for first person shooter games where Profile 3 could be a bit more intense and be for MMOs and RPGs and that type of stuff and actually have some pretty intense macros set up. When you first open up the program of course this is what you'll see the storm config. The main page gives you five different profiles that you can go ahead and customize and of course you can click on your key here and you can set it up to do a number of different things as you can see we can set it up to be advanced I can make the J key the volume up key if I wanted to or you can make it have no function at all if that's what your desire is of course you can set it to the default and you can set it to macro which we'll go over in a second. Of course, if the five profiles here are not enough, you can come here and you can add some more macros to your PC RAM. I mean, some more profiles. It appears to be that you can add pretty much as many as you want. Though I doubt most people need more than five. The option is there if needed. Now for the fun part the macro studio this is where you would go ahead and set up your macro I'm gonna call this one test for now I've set up my name and now what I'm gonna do is if I hit the record button I am offered um, a few options here one-to-one -one mode which records the actual delays between the actions which means as I hit the keys it'll keep track of the time in between keystrokes and uh, try to mimic it to the best of its ability. Obviously you have speed mode which will reduce all delays between actions to number field in milliseconds. Then you have God mode which is zero delays between actions. I personally think this would really come in handy in the MMOs, RPGs and stuff where you've got to craft stuff and create stuff or if you um For whatever, or some people you may need a bunch of keystrokes. Say you got something you do every day that is the same exact keystrokes. I mean, you could uh, theoretically you could set this up to type in passwords if that's what you wanted it to do. You could set the macro one key, and we can go ahead and as we're recording, you will see it hit W E, and now it is going ahead. And if I hit stop, now if I go ahead and set one of my keys to test four, every time I hit that key, it will do this. It will start off and it will make all of these keystrokes in those amount of time, which, as I said, can come in handy for those of you who need it. And that's about it. If you do have any questions, please feel free to ask. The software is pretty much straightforward. Uh, if it just takes a bit of getting used to a bit. You just play around with it a bit if you do need to, and you will get used to it. But like I said, please ask questions. Like, subscribe, share, and check back soon for more videos. Thank you.